Hello everyone and welcome to our channel. In this video, we'll be talking about how we can configure SSH to use the ED25519 elliptical curve keys. Now, you will be asking, hey Asian, why would I want to use that? Why would I want to use the ED25519 key when I can just access with my password or the normal RSA key? Now, let me tell you, that's why, that's why I'm here. So, when you use your normal password, I guess it's not that secure. Even if you think it's secure, there are high chances that it can be brute forced. So not that much good choice. Now, if you are more smart, then you would be using an RSA key. Okay. Now, if the RSA key is 1024 length, then uh, you should change it immediately. If it's 204, somewhat secure, but still not going to uh, rely on that. Change it. And if it's 3072, that's somewhat secure and you can use it but i would still recommend you to use the ad25519 keys so how we can use this key and how we can generate it let me tell you and uh, you would be seeing that it's much much more secure it's much more faster and it's much more efficient than rsa keys so why not use it so first of all we will go over here and uh, let's imagine that this one this window above over here is the one on the server the server you want to access or your desktop most don't use servers and only use uh, to access their desktop like i do so imagine this is your desktop of the server you want to access and this one is the terminal on the desktop you want to access your server or desktop from okay so what we will do is that we will first go to cd home slash dot ssh directly okay i'm already there so i'm in there now what we need to do is that we need to enter a command that is ssh keygen dash t ed25519 dash c and whatever comment you want okay it's not required to enter any comment but it's your choice i mostly don't do but you can and this dash t uh, determines what type of key you are going to make we are of course going to make the ed25519 type of key we will now press enter so it's saying it's generating the key now you can change the name or the part over here but i am not going to do that i think it's the perfect name we will just press enter passphrase i won't enter any passphrase i don't want any passphrase in this file but we should do passphrases make it more secure as once you have a passphrase okay even if you lose the key there's some sort of security there so give it a good passphrase that you think can be brute force easily. Once that's done, you can see two files are generated over here. Now, what we need to do is that take this public key file, okay, and open it with Atom. So you can see this is the content of the file. Now we will go over here, and we need to enter some more commands, okay? So we need to do uh, first. We need to evaluate if the SSH agent is working. So how we do that? We'll just type this command that I am typing. Okay, SSH agent, then dash s. Okay, sorry, I entered the wrong command. Okay, so you can see agent PID this. That means the agent is working. So what we need to do is that we will type SSH hyphen add and again the part where the key file is stored so it can be like this and then the key file so it's id ed25519 you need to enter this command uh, to make the this key this private key and add it to your ssh keys okay i am not going to do that but you can just do that to access and then once that done, you can access the server you want with this command. Uh, here you will enter the key. So for me, it's like ID two five five one nine, and uh, okay, sorry, ID ED two five five one nine, and then what we need to do is that enter the host name. So it will be like something like this. Okay, uh, it can it will be very different, but uh, it's just an example that I'm showing you. You can access it, but you can't right now because 
you haven't pasted the public key in your server that you want to access so how it will authenticate you so let's do that first we'll go to your server so what we will do is that we will open this authorized keys file if it's not there you can just generate it and you will see we have the known key files over here so one ad25519 key file and one rsa key for my gs connect okay so it's working what we'll do now is we'll go over here to the public key file that is this one we will paste it into our server as i said into this dot ssh folder we'll open that in the text editor we will copy the content of this file we will go to authorize keys and just paste that content right there okay now your server can be authenticated with this public key okay so uh, the server has one public key you have one private key now they can authenticate each other and it's good but it's still not secure why because still anyone can access your computer with the password and why did we generate keys to remove that unsecurity to remove uh, that thing uh, that password that can be brute forced so how we can now prevent anyone to use your password and they have to have your key so we will go over here and uh, let me tell you before doing this try to access your server first if you can access the server or the desktop then only proceed with the steps so what we need to do is that we need to enter a command like this sudo nano or vim or whatever editor you use and then this part slash etc folder in this ssh folder sorry not etc etc folder then ssh folder then ssh d config file we will enter i will have to enter my password once we are in there you have to scroll and search for the option called password authentication so let me see over here where it's password authentication okay so first you need to uh, enable this public key authentication if it's no then you should make it to yes and then what you need to do is that to go over here and this password authentication no okay you have to make this like this if uh, it's if it has one hash in front of it you need to remove that and make this no then you need to just save that and voila now no one can use password to access your server they need to have your private key and now your computer is more secure and you can access ssh just before exiting you need to do two commands okay if ssh is not working on your computer if it uh, if you weren't uh, able to do any of these commands or uh, if you are not able to connect you need to uh, type these commands okay ssh uh, sorry sudo system control enable ssh d to enable the ssh daemon and if uh, once you do all these key stuff and you add the keys you need to type this command sudo system control restart ssh daemon and then you can just access it normally thank you for watching my video and please like share and subscribe and put a comment down there if you want to say anything or you want to ask anything thank you